So the new Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, I thought it really was a hit and miss. Honestly, the first half was so electrifying, it was so exciting. Just seeing Spider-Man interact with New York, in particular Queens where he's from, just going around reminded me of the days of not only the gl greater glimpses of the Amazing franchise, that one from Mark Webb and the original Spider-Man from Rami, but the animation of just how it feels like. Tom Holland, like everybody knows, killed it in Civil War. For the majority, everybody liked him. And seeing him have his own film now, just getting him get a shot as Spider-Man is deserving, at least because he earned it from that one. Now I want to see how he does in his film. He nails the role as Spider-Man. So let's get on to this trailer, guys. That's cool, it just reminds me of Iron Man. So what, he would have been Spider-Man? Uh, I would love to have a father-son relationship like that. What's up, guys? I mean, you gotta work as Spider-Man? Mm -hmm. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, this so feels like Spider-Man. So he's got those little Iron Man, the tech inside that suit, and it's able to, to help him save the day. How they show a completely childish Gambino. That's right, he's all twitching like he's on meth. I don't have time for prom. What are you hiding, Peter? I'm just getting out of here. Bye. I'm just fucking with this. There's a ton of other subsystems in here, but they're all disabled by the training wheels protocol. I'm sick of Mr. Stark treating you like a kid. <laughs> but you are a kid. Yeah, a kid who can stop a bus with his bare hands. Honestly, I can't really complain about this trailer. It just feels right at home. It feels the worst Spider-Man of all of them. And the other two are really good. Except for maybe two saying that it's spoiled too much. I, besides that, I still enjoy this, these trailers. Honestly, I do feel like I, the tone of how Marvel and Sony wants it, I really feel in these trailers. Like in that first one, I felt like it was half Marvel, then Sony. I heard they're in agreements. At least they're working together. But I can kind of sense the vibe of how the the trailers kind of have it play as both sides of the parents marvel and sony but this one as just spider-man they captured it right showing him how he, he's like a kid he's bouncing off the bed he's like but i want to be more than just a kid and then his friend's like we have a midterm spanish test or something even though he has to save the world having him go stop the thieves from the bikes and then having to help this old lady this is just spider-man so how he was in the animation days in the comic days so if we get more of the inside of iron man how kind of how it's gonna input into the spider-man suit they're just things that even in the second trailer i just don't want to see until the movie but now that i think of it this felt like this spoiled less than the last trailer but really those are the only problems i have for this movie then hopefully this movie is really good it just it's, it always happens with the spider-man movies don't show me everything just let me go in and watch this guys you're with marvel now and you guys are going to get even more 
butts on those seats than you ever did before in the other ones. And I love the original Spider-Man 1 and 2. It's just going to make the fans, the people that matter, just have a good time. So let me know, guys, when you saw this trailer, what did you think of the trailer? Did you think it spoiled too much? Is this your favorite trailer of all the Spider-Man Homecoming trailers? All this in the comments below. And as always, Roman Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.